And one by one this morning, reports about an active shooter inside a school came in. And it sent students running for cover as police and parents scrambled to find out what was going on. At least 13 schools from Kenosha to Green Bay, Madison to Milwaukee, all targeted in these so-called swatting incidents. Wisconsin isn't the only state where this has happened recently. Julia Fellow with details on this rising troubling trend that's panicking families and stretching police resources. The National Association of School Resource Officers reports there have been more than 100 hoax calls across 28 states and the District of Columbia since September 9th, Wisconsin being the latest. The first hoax call reported in our area was at about 8 this morning at Bradford High School in Kenosha. It sent students and teachers into lockdown. We were told to just like go sit down and be quiet and turn off our phones because like, you know, if there's an active shooter, they're going to be able to like see our phones. Parents rushed to the school after hearing there was a threat. And I was like, no, 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 no. no Many no. of them lining up to be reunited, even after learning it was all a hoax. Did hear that it wasn't real. But it was pretty terrifying, you know, sitting there in my car crying. And I seen when all the cops rushed in and they were putting on their vest. Active shooting, definitely, definitely the serious, more serious, scary. Hoax calls were made all over southeast Wisconsin this morning. A Port Washington captain says nearly two dozen of their officers swept Port Washington High School after a caller claimed there was an active shooter in the school. They've stressed kids and they've stressed families. Um, they've taken up law enforcement resources that could be being used someplace else um, because during this time we couldn't take calls efficiently. The executive director of the National Association of School Resource Officers says the pattern they've seen in other states involves a person with an accent reading from a script saying there's an active shooter inside of the school. Whether fake or not at the moment we're receiving a call indicating that people are being injured, maybe even killed by gunfire. We have to respond quickly to that. We asked police if they pinned down where these calls came from. The Sheboygan police chief would only confirm the calls they received were likely from outside of the country. Attorney General Josh Call says many of these calls are hard to trace. Unfortunately, if people are determined to conceal uh, their phone number, there are ways that they can do that and make it very hard to track down uh, where a call is coming from. He says whoever was behind this will likely face swatting charges. It is a felony that could send someone found guilty to prison for three and a half years. It also comes with $10,000 in fines and you lose your privilege to own a gun for life. Whoever did this uh, was just acting despicably, uh, terrorizing students and teachers. Along with the attorney general paying close attention to this case, the FBI also says they're aware of numerous swatting incidents. They say they take it very seriously and will continue to work with local, state and federal law enforcement. Julia Fallow, TMJ4 News.